everyone, I'm Laura from GoSimply.ca and today we're going to do a seated upper body TheraBand workout. So these are the long bands and all of the moves we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing upright. So you don't need to bend over. Um, we're going to be staying in sort of an upright posture. So if you've got your TheraBand and you're ready to go, hit the thumbs up button and let's get started. Okay, we're just going to start with a warm up here. So we're just going to do a few arm circles forward. This is just freestyle warm up and a few arm circles backwards. Okay, and then do a few wrist circles. You can, you can bring your arms in closer if you want. It doesn't really matter where they are. And then turn them the other way with holding the band. They're going to need a little bit of a warm up and then just flex your wrists up and down. Okay, that's good. And then let's just do some arm swings out. So slow, use your shoulder blades to pull your sort of back together. You want to pull those shoulder blades together. So use the muscles in the back to pull the arms backward. And then sort of come the other, I guess we were already going the other way, but so I'm just keep going for a few more. Wow, my brain is sort of not in the game today. Okay, and then just do a few overhead reaches. Okay, so we're mostly going to be staying in that upright posture today. There might be a slight lean like I'm doing right now, but no forward bending. Okay, that's great. And let's just put the shoulders up here and do a little twist to each side. Just using the abdominal muscles to do it, but getting a little extra stretch through the chest and the back. Sometimes I wish my chair didn't have a back on it, but this it hits my elbows. Okay, one more, and then let's just do some elbow circles. So you're bending at the elbow as you're turning. That's great, and then the other direction. Excellent. So just a really quick warm up today and we're going to get right into it. Okay, so I'm a bit slow today for our first exercise. I want you to take the band behind your back underneath your arms and then you're going to just push out and let it come back in. That's a bit late starting there, but that's okay. So we missed about 10 seconds. So this is a chest press. So today we have 10 exercises and we're going to do them each for 45 seconds each and we'll have 15 seconds to get that band moved to the next position. So we're going to do 10 exercises and then we're going to repeat those 10 exercises. So we'll do all 10 and then we'll do the next 10. Excellent. So now we're going to take that band and we're going to put it across our chest or, or your torso. Now my band's a bit long, so I'm going to roll it and that's, that's just fine. You can roll it. Okay. And then you're going to push out behind you. Okay. So you're doing like a rear arm raise. It's like a, it's like a tricep extension. Okay. And you're just pushing. So my band rolled down. Doesn't really matter as long as it's not hurting your abdomen. Okay, that's fine. And then just continue for a few more seconds. It's hard to get the position just right when we're sitting upright, but we can do it. We're just modifying as best we can to stay upright. So just a couple more seconds here. Excellent. Take a break. So now we're going to put that band back around our back and under our armpits again. Okay. We're going to take the ends of the bands in each hand and now we're going to press up and over our head. Okay. So it's going underneath our armpits so that when we pull up, there's or push up, sorry, there's the resistance on it. So with a band, you have a little bit more flexibility with your upper body and moves that you can do like, you know, um, an overhead press you can absolutely do with dumbbells, 
but you can't do a seated chest press with dumbbells. It, it just doesn't work. Gravity works the opposite way, right? Gravity's always pushing down. And so when we hold a weight out and we push it out in front of us, we're not working the chest, we're working the shoulders. And it's like more like a front arm raise. It's like solidly holding a front arm raise. So this is where a band is really good. So now we're gonna do a push down. So take that band and just lay it over top of your shoulders. And we're gonna like pull down on it like a towel. So just pull down, you can call it a push down or a pull down. I'm just like, I'm like pushing my arms down. So I have a mirror to my side here. That's what I'm looking at. So just pushing straight down. So we can get a little bit more range of motion with the bands. Uh, the bands are also, they're so good for traveling because all you have to do is bring this, you throw it in your bag and you can still do a weight training um, workout. Like, I guess I should say a resistance training workout. We're not actually lifting weights, so weight would not be an appropriate name to say. It's weight training, but it's having um, a similar effect on our muscles, right? Excellent, so now we're gonna do a bicep tricep. So we're gonna work one bicep and one tricep. Doesn't matter which you do. And of course I have wrapped my band, so I'm going to pull up with one hand as I push down with the other. Okay, so I'm doing a bicep on my right and a tricep on my left. So I'm just pulling them apart. You know, it's sort of like pulling taffy. Oh, my kids love taffy. They love to eat taffy. There's this, oh, I forget what they're called. Are they called airheads? I think they're called airheads. And they're not really airy at all. It's like a thick piece of taffy and these weird flavors like blue raspberry and sour watermelon or something like that. And they're ludicrous colors. Like the blue is like, oh my goodness, it's an unholy shade of blue. And the green is like bright, super neon lime green. But they love them. Okay, excellent. So all we're gonna do here is switch sides. So I'm now going to be curling with my left and pushing down for the tricep with my right. I don't, uh, we don't often get the airheads because it's really just a big hunk of sugar. But of course, you know, we all need to have our soul food, the, the food that sort of soothes our soul and makes life worth living, right? Like, you know, as you get older, it tends to be less candy and more, you know, really delicious desserts or a good piece of fudge or an ice cream cone and, you know, we need that in our diet too. We, we need that to be part of a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so just a few more seconds here. Excellent. So now we're going to do a lateral press out. So you can just hold the band. We're going to do one side and then the other. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to just wrap mine slightly around my wrist and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this out like elbow slightly bent and I'm just going to push my left arm out to the side. And so we're working there's the lateral hold and we're working that tricep again these triceps are really getting worked right now. They've had a lot of work in this in this workout they've gotten a lot of attention which is okay, but they are a small muscle group. So if you're feeling some burn, if they are feeling tired, uh, I'm not surprised. We'll make sure to give them a good stretch out at the end. Okay, so a few more seconds and we're simply gonna do this on the other side. Excellent, so now I'm just gonna roll the other side. And again, I'm just gonna sort of hold it about like chest height and the one arm is going to stay stationary, and now my right arm is going to kick out to the side. Okay. So we've almost seen, this is exercise number eight, I think. So just two more, and then we're going to repeat them all one more time. And that will be a nice little arm burn for us today. So again, you've got nice upright posture. 
your abdominals are in to support your lower back. And you're really working. See, you're also working the other arm just by holding the band from being pulled across your body. So both arms are getting the work. In fact, you might still be feeling the tricep on the other side because it's acting as a stabilizer. Okay, excellent. Now we're gonna do an overhead pull down. So what we do is we hold the band above our head and we're gonna pull down on one side. We're gonna alternate this one and then pull down on the other side. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going here. And if you don't have your grip just right, just take a second you know, and adjust it. That's fine. Like if you're finding that it's too easy, maybe you've got your hands too far apart on the band and you're like, whoa, I can't, you know, then you just want to adjust it and bring them a little closer together. That's another thing that's great by about a band is you don't have to jump up and grab another set of dumbbells. You can just adjust where you hold them and then you'll have, you'll feel a different amount of pressure a different amount of resistance. And these bands do come in different colors. I believe green is almost always the least resistance all the way up to, I think it's black, which is the most. And a black one is really hard to use. So now we're going to do a chest fly. This is our last one. So I'm putting the band behind my back again. And I've got my arms out to the side and I'm gonna pull them forward to touch. Okay, so open wide and pull them to touch. So again, we can't, with dumbbells, if I were to be doing this exact same exercise but holding a pair of dumbbells, I wouldn't actually be working any muscles of the chest because gravity is pushing down. So what I'm doing is I'm working the shoulder as if I'm just like holding dumbbells out to the side. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't work the chest. So this is where, again, that band is really beneficial because now we are actually able to do a chest exercise, which you can't do seated with dumbbells. If you recline, you don't have to lie down fully, but if you recline back, then you can work the chest. Okay, now we're starting over with the chest press. So you can keep the band right where it is. And again, we're pushing straight out in front of us. So again, if I did a chest press with those dumbbells, I wouldn't, I would be working the front of the shoulder just to hold up. It would be much similar to a front arm raise, though not an active front arm raise. It would just be like a front arm hold. So the band allows us to work the chest, which we otherwise wouldn't really be able to do without reclining back to at least a 45 to really actually get a good chest workout. But with this, we can do it, we can mimic that. And if you're wondering what these hooks are on the wall behind me, they're for another set of resistance band. They have wall anchors, so they're anchored right into my wall. And again, I can use bands from any position instead of weights. Okay, now we're gonna do that rear arm raise, okay? So again, this is that weird one. So it sort of comes across the front of the body and we're just going to lift up like this. There is another way to do this I can show you too. So you can, you could put the band underneath your legs and sit on it and you could go like that as well. Okay, but you can definitely wrap it around your chest. So I'll show that one one more time. Okay, because I know a lot of you um, don't have the mobility to use your legs to get it underneath. So that, that doesn't work for you. So just wrap it around your chest and then do that tricep extension or rear arm raise behind your body. And again, you, you might lean slightly forward, but you can do it 100%. You can do it straight up and down as well, okay? I should be showing the straight up and down one because that's what I said we were doing. Okay, now we're gonna do the overhead press. So again, we're going underneath the armpits this time, and we're going to press straight up. And this, the band moves my top all over the place and my bra, step, bra straps keep showing, and I apologize. Uh, I'm sure you all don't need to see that, but they keep poking out and, well, we'll just call it a wardrobe malfunction, shall we say? <laughs> okay, so pushing those arms up, nice straight posture. We 
know, I was thinking, I mentioned earlier that taffy, those airheads that my kids like, and then I said, you know, as we get older, we often like different kinds of treats for our soul food. And now I can't stop thinking about pie. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do the push down. So we're going over top of our shoulders and we're just gonna push right down. Specifically like, uh, I don't know, like a peach pie or, oh, I also really like apple. And I've never had a key lime pie. Okay, so push straight down. If you've had a key lime pie before, let me know what you think of it. In, in about three weeks, my family's going to go on a holiday and we're going down to the Florida Keys, which I have never ever been to before. I've been like to Orlando and I've been to Tampa, but we're gonna go right down into the Keys and I hear they have like the best key lime pie. So I wanna get one. And if you know where in the Keys or just even where in Florida in general, since we'll be going driving more straight through Florida, let me know the best spot. Cause I really do wanna taste like the best key lime pie. So. Let me know. And let me know in the comments below, do you like key lime pie? Okay, so now we're gonna do the bicep tricep. In fact, you can give me an idea. I don't even know what key lime pie tastes like. Was it, obviously, I'm assuming it tastes like limes and does it have like a meringue on top, like lemon meringue? Does it have meringue? Okay, so it doesn't matter which one you're curling. One is curling up and one is pushing down. Whichever one, because we're gonna do the other side next. Yeah, so let it, can you kind of describe how it tastes? Does it have like a regular pie crust or does it have like a graham cracker crust? I don't know. All I know is I heard that there's great key lime pie in the Keys and I'm like, I'm there, sign me up for key lime pie. So I definitely, I'm excited to try it. And if you know anything about key lime pie, let me know because here in the North, we can't grow limes and we can't grow lemons. I mean, I can buy them at the grocery store but they're probably not nearly as good. So what we have is we have a lot of berries. So you can do like blueberry pie, raspberry pie, strawberry pie, gooseberry pie, and currants. <gasps> so like black currant, oh, I love black currants. Black currant jam or crumble or gooseberry crumble's really good too. Um, I sort of, we're on a break right now. <laughs> we're gonna do the other side. So again, now just the other arm is pushing down. And there, I have one side too tight. So I just had to adjust there. Um, what other? We can do apple pie. We grow apples, we grow pears, plums. Um, some parts of Canada, like in the very south of British Columbia, in the very south of Ontario, you can grow peaches and cherries. But where I am up in Ottawa, um, in fact, in our yard, because we, we do have like a bit of a farm and orchard, we do apples and pears and plums. And we have an apricot tree and we have a sour cherry tree, which I do love sour cherries, but we can't really do sweets and we can't do peaches and we can't do nectarines. Okay, so now we're gonna do that stretch out. So this is where you hold it kind of at chest height and you pull out with one arm and hold with the opposite. Again, doesn't matter which side you're doing because we're gonna switch it up. So I feel very fortunate that we can grow the apples and the pears and the plums. And again, the one apricot tree and one sour cherry. Um, I, I feel very fortunate for that. And then we are super lucky that we can do lots of berries, black raspberries, red raspberries, blueberries, hascaps, Saskatoon berries, currants, red, white, and black, gooseberries. So we can grow a lot of berries but we can't really do the like really tender fruit, which is so good. Where my husband's parents live, so my in-laws, they're totally down in that Southern Ontario area where they can do peaches and cherries. Okay, so we're gonna switch up sides. And if we visit at just the right time, then we can go and pick some. So I, I'm still very lucky that way that I have access to it because I know a lot of people don't. Okay, so just pushing it with the other side and things like cherries and peaches, when they come to our grocery store here anyways, I don't know where it is where you are, but here when cherries come to the grocery store, oh my gosh, it's, it's completely unaffordable. Um, 
I mean, I suppose maybe if you make millions of dollars, then you can get cherries, but it's very much like a tree. Like you buy a small little handful. And so my family of four, we might each get like five or six cherries. Like you buy a very small handful because they're very expensive. Um, so I do feel like when we can go that we're very fortunate to be able to get some. Okay, just a few more here. We are nearly done. Okay, so now we're gonna do the overhead pull down. So this is where we have both arms up and we're gonna alternate sides, just pulling down, okay? And then we only have one more, so two more, including this one that we're about to start right now. That's it. Again, maybe it's just me who feels like the workout is flying because I am chatting with you the whole time. But, you know, I've started to think, maybe I should do like workouts on camera all the time. In fact, what I was wondering is I'm thinking in the fall, um, so in a, in a few months after this video comes out, I'm thinking of doing some live classes. Now, they might be like a, like, like a live class that I would post on YouTube. I can do that. Uh, but then I might also do some, some like set time classes where I go live and... Okay, we're gonna do that chest fly. I didn't wanna miss the break by talking right through it. And so what would happen would be, so remember with the fly, we're gonna bring those arms together. And so they would be like maybe a dollar a class. So I'm still gonna do all the ones that I do on YouTube, not letting any of that go. But for those of you who wanted to like say three times a week, I can teach a class to just whoever signs in. No app, no membership fee, just if you want to come to that, well, class, then, you know, I haven't totally figured that all out yet. I'm just sort of thinking it in my head. So we'll see what happens. But if that's something that might interest you, let me know in the comments down below. And again, I'm still going to do in, in a few months when it's fall time here again, uh, I will be posting weekly again, but over this time, this is my family's holiday time. And so I'm only posting monthly, but it will pick up to its weekly again, and that will not change. Excellent job. Let's toss that band or drop it down by the side and let's give those muscles a little bit of stretching out love. So let's pull one arm across. Doesn't matter which one. We're going to do the other as well. And just hold it for a little bit here. Uh, if you need to hold any of these stretches longer, by all means, definitely do that. I'm only going to hold them for about 25 or 30 seconds here or the cool down will end up being like 10 minutes long. But if you need more, I'll try and remember to link um, a cool down in the, in the description below. Okay, so then let's just switch sides here. Oh, I can feel that. I can feel that across my arm, uh, the stretch out. We definitely gave those muscles a good little work today. And let's go overhead and do that tricep. So pull down and again, you want that hand to go right down between the shoulder blades. Give everyone a really good view of your armpit. I'm sure they all love to see it. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, and then switch. Oh, it feels so nice to stretch. Okay, and across the front, just some scissors. Just slow. And some up and down. And let's give those wrists a little roll in one direction and then the other. And then flexing up and down again. They did they do a lot holding the band. And then let's just put our hands on our shoulders and do a few little shoulder rolls to the back. And then to the front. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I had a great time. It flew by because I chatted the whole way through. Let me know about that key line by. I still haven't forgotten about it. It's all I'm thinking about right now. We're doing chest presses and I'm thinking key line pie key lime pie. So, so let me know what it tastes like and where the best place is to get it. Actually, it can even just be all the way down the eastern seaboard because we're going to be driving from Ottawa. I know, 
we're crazy family of four getting in a minivan going all the way down the coast. Um, it's a good thing we all love each other mostly. And by the time we get there, we're on holiday. So, um, so anywhere all the way down the coast, but I'm assuming like the closer you get to where you actually grow limes, the better it tastes. I don't know. So let me know. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.